Okay, so team is obviously very important to me. I met John as a patient. He actually came to me for physio about five years ago. We were chatting and I was telling him a little bit about my first swim in Mflanga and that was preparation for my Hawaii channel crossing. Um, he paddles on a kayak next to me and he uh, has to basically make sure that I get there in the most efficient way possible. His knowledge of the ocean is phenomenal. He knows currents and waves like no one else I know. His role is uh, safety and um, navigation, but he's also a fun guy and he's a great leader. So you want someone who's going to take ownership and leadership in a potentially threatening situation, but who will keep a calm head. Okay, so Sarah Houston is um, now a very good friend of mine, but um, I met her about four years ago. Her role officially is to feed me every half an hour when I do these long swims to organize what food I need, when I need what, and also just to um, encourage me and motivate me and just to cheer me up really. So when things are tough, she often jumps in the water with me. She knows what to do to make me smile and uh, yeah, so that's her role. And when Sarah broke her elbow literally two weeks before we had to leave, she realized she may not be able to like, cut things up and cook for us as a team, especially after being a whole day on a boat. So Angelica came to mind. And um, so I met Angelica about a year before my Hawaii swim. And she was swimming with our swim squad. I heard that she was really good at massage. And so I went to go and do a session with her. And then she offered to massage me twice a week in my build up to Hawaii. So she helped keep my body in shape. When I needed someone for this elephant coast swim, and I thought of her, I was like, that's perfect because then she can cook and she can look after my body. So. And she just fitted in so well with the team. A mutual friend referred me to Carl and said, hey, he's a photographer, he's starting out, he's keen to, to help out. And so, yeah, that's what the, his job is, videographer and photographer, basically to capture all the footage that we have so we can make a great story um, to tell the world about the issues of plastic pollution.